This video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation. Leaders in the transportation services based on safety, innovation, and sustainability. They've got a division in re residuals, transporting wood residuals throughout Western Canada and the Pacific Northwest. A uh, division of uh, van freight, dedicated uh, freight with heated trailers servicing Western Canada. Uh, log hauling, logging trucks, servicing southern British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest. Heavy haul, transporting heavy equipment throughout North America. Sales and logistics, brokerage, 3PL, a global full service transportation brokerage. So uh, head on over to their site, sutcotransportation.ca check out what they've uh, got on offer for you guys. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Yeah, it's definitely afternoon. Oh, it's evening. My microphone's covered in but all, all muffled. Muffled. Yeah, muffled microphone. Okay, happy Monday. It is actually Monday. But we were supposed to load, deliver this load on Monday at 11 a.m. What time is it? Four o'clock. We didn't deliver the load today at, four, at 11 a.m. I forgot I had a doc, uh, dent, dentist appointment and an eye doctor appointment. So I reminded the boss yesterday and goes, oh shoot, I forgot about that too. It's like, hey, I requested these off a long time ago at Sutco. Just because I'm working for a new company, those appointments are still there. So that's why this load's going to be a day late. Speaking of, let's hammer down. I'm going to rush now. Jess is back. Let's just test how long it, that takes to go into drive automatically. Still learning the new e-log e book. E-log, e just e-log. Yeah, it's no, no e-log app, the new e-log app. Still on duty. Isaac would have kicked in by now. Oh, that's going to be a nuisance. Let's go around the other way. Hurry up, pick up. Let's go. I want to be able to shoot the space. I'm sorry, pick up. It's his fault. He was going so slow. You just pulled on too, so it's okay. Thank you, pickup. Appreciate it. Oh, now it says driving, so it took about two minutes. But if it's not time related, if it's speed related. It could be speed related, yeah. And then you shut it down and ignore it until next time you have to make a change. It's not parts nice, you don't have that big screen there all the time. I know, it feels roomy over here. It, it's you're not going to knock your knee on that all the time. It feels roomy. Oh, you're getting rush hour over here. It's yep, definitely good. rush hour. That car's going pretty darn slow. We're going to go between these. I forget how heavy we are. I definitely can feel it. <laughs> it's, it's a difference yeah. with the Super B. A little more work. A little more work. Up there. Yeah, definitely snowing up there. I don't want to deal with lights with a load this heavy, so I'm going to go to industrial. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to go onto intersections that are uncontrolled by lights. Yep. I want a light-controlled intersection. My GPS is going crazy, but that's okay. Okay, GPS says 8.49, as long as we don't take any extra breaks, if we don't get there by 9, I'm going to adjust it. I have to, I have to fine tune what a full load of load feels like. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, did you look and see what Dave was texting me about? No, we put your phone away. Oh. There are no more hard breaks. No e-log beeping at me for doing hard breaks. Oh well. 
I will replace that. <laughs> It'll be just gone. Don't do that! I, the load's so heavy, right? Are they requesting the Isaac or uh, the Sirius XM number? You got to it somehow, right? It's probably channel zero. Yeah, how do you go to channel zero? Uh, I don't know right now. I'm watching mm -hmm. lights and people around Maybe us. Maybe over here. There, that. Oh, good. Blue little Honda there. Realize there's a big truck going to make a corner here. And uh, stayed back a bit. That person has right of way. Doesn't look like they're going to walk this way. And then it looked like they were walking this way, and then they're not. But you have right away. You need to know what you're doing. Now, what she did was a plate thing. She waved me on. Very dangerous thing to do in today's world because you are now legally liable for waving me on stating that it's safe for me to go. So we always want to do the polite thing and help the other people out and wave them, go ahead, go ahead, ahead of me. It's like, nope, should not do that. I do it myself, but you shouldn't do it because you're legally liable if anything goes wrong. At least that's what my driving instructor told me. to um, slow down earlier than I'm used to. It's going to have to be a habit I have to learn again. Basically, slowing down earlier and following distance a little longer because of all the extra weight. We're going to run up to Caledon. Hopefully the scale is closed. Can you check to see if the scale is closed? If the scale is open, I don't want to bother them, but there's a student driver truck. middle of rush hour. Glad I went this way. More lights, but at least the intersections are controlled. Well, it was close two hours ago. Ah, it will be closed then. You guys see the car? I bet you the mirror cam can see your see the car, but I cannot see that car in this truck. The dash cam probably couldn't see it either. You could see it? Just a tiny, like the top corner. Oh uh, yeah. From my angle, it's gone. Yep. But I mean, by that, if you're not paying attention, you don't see it. And I still had significant room between me and the car. Like, I've put our pickup in front of this truck and can't see it, so... With the kayaks on top. Whenever we do that at a red light where the car disappears... No, we could see the kayaks. Barely. We just couldn't see the truck. Whenever you get close to a car like that at a red light, it's a perfect time to show you guys how much blind spot we have in front of the big rig. Especially with the mirror cam getting a different angle, seeing you, showing a little more. I was gonna say seeing you a little more. I'm like, that, that's not... Now saying that, I don't like getting that close. I like to prefer, prefer to stay a little further away like this. So There's this... a helicopter hovering there. This is the, the car wash has free vacuums. Oh, free vacuums. Yeah. Hmm. I, I liked it. Make enough money off of the car wash. My GPS says to turn right over here. I'm going to turn left. It is the shorter way and the faster way. 
but not the main way. Not not the big the bigger highway. That's the smaller highway. So. I'm warm enough in here. If you need to turn it down, you can. Okay. It's actually pretty low. I just take I just turned the bunk heat off. A little drizzle on the windows here already. I wonder if we'll make this light. There's enough oncoming traffic. We might not make it. These two will both go. Nope. There we go. Some 3D cookies. Thanks. Need both lanes to make this turn, so I'm just gonna take keep keep to this lane. In a car, you would stay to the left lane, but in a big rig, I'm just gonna stay in this lane. warmer this week. Does that mean we're going to get some sunshine or are we going to have stormy weather? Um, that's a good question. I mean, we don't start to feel it till like Wednesday or no Thursday. One of those days. It's really next weekend that it's warmer. About normal temperature actually. I know tomorrow is supposed to be really rainy. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. The boss has a load lined up for us. To load in Chilliwack and deliver it same day in Kelowna or in Rutland. So we're supposed to pick up a load in Chilliwack and deliver Rutland tomorrow. Drive probably empty to plastic off or something like that. So, what hours is that place open till? Uh, they close at five. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Uh huh. There's a little bit of the. Hopefully, there's a rocket that engine attached to our back because. That's going to be a tight timeline. Does our secret place in Langley work for us to sleep tonight? It should. I would sleep at the Petro Pass up in Burnaby, but we no longer have a Petro Pass card. So that particular Petro Pass checks to make sure you're actually a Petro Pass customer to park there. So that spot is gone. We cannot park there anymore. Hey, I won't do this, but I'll say a joke to the lane. Do you want me to put my Photoshop skills to work? I was just thinking I should have kept the old useless <laughs> fuel cards. So except it doesn't really need them back. They disconnected them, they're useless to me, I can't use them anymore. I have a useless piece of plastic that I could flash to anyone that wants to see. But honestly, I would feel guilty sleeping there anyway since it's for customers only and I am yeah. not a customer. We're really good about that. Like even other ones that we don't have, we've never slept there. 
Sorry. We never sleep at a Chevron. We never see, sleep yeah. at a U, UFA or whatever. Like, yeah, or a co op. Or, yeah. I mean, I think I've like once or twice in the last six years, but not on a regular basis. And they have got a lifeguard little tower there. This is a private beach here. Oh. So this little, another lifeguard tower there. So this little resort there must be paying for lifeguards. So our, our city started this off-leash program for not all the parks, but a lot of them for dogs. So we will see them off-leash now. In any park or in, in some open parks? In a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Basically, if you can control your dog, you're allowed to take the leash off. Yeah, but I'm okay with that. It's going to cause a lot of problem with the ones that do that and don't have good recall. Of them. Yes. If you can recall your dog and your dog will listen every time, I am okay with off leash. But can you actually do that? care if it's a chihuahua or a rottweiler you must control that dog if your chihuahua runs around loose and you can't control it put a dang leash on it yeah, but then you have the problem where some of them are running around playing and then some other dogs are triggered by balls and toys and, and yeah. then you can't prevent that right like, yeah it's well yeah. is your dog well enough trained not to squirrel and bolt off to after a squirrel or a kid's ball or anything right like so it's just a pilot program i think to the fall we'll see how it goes my nose hurts Doctor was, or I guess the dentist was cranking on my teeth and get the fillings. I guess they put lots of pressure on to get the fillings deep into the. Oh, into the gum. Into the tooth, right? Uh. So he was using my nose as leverage, and it feels like I got punched in the frickin' nose. He was doing that to my head when he did the wisdom teeth, and I think that's where some reviews were like. I don't rough. know, rough. And I'm like, I, I, it's like, I don't mind it being a little rough if it's the right way to do it. I'm like, the last dentist spent so time, so much time diddly dangling. Like, yes, <laughs> putting in all these special dams and rubber dams, putting all this extra work in. My mouth had to be open for two hours. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sore because my jaw's open. This dude just gives you the anesthetic and starts working, like immediately. He goes, does that still feel okay? Yep. Okay, keep working. He goes, I'm not going to go any deeper in this until the anesthesia has kicked in a little further. Okay. Boy, dude knows what he's doing and he's very efficient at it. None of this uh, sore jaw stuff after. Yeah, but our, our old dentist is more cosmetic, right? Like, yeah. like just, I don't know. Major difference between the two. Okay. She does everything. Our old dentist, she did everything very uh, properly. Everything the way she learned it in college, in her school. Everything is textbook done the way she did it in school. This dude just goes, okay, this is the job that needs to be done. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're done. You're good to go. What? Half an hour later? I have five Filling done, five teeth done, half an hour later. I think I had two wisdom teeth pulled within 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, he, he just... <laughs> well, he, he did, we had three planned. And he just goes, ah, completely up to you. If you want, we have enough time. If you want to do the other two fillings right now, you could. I'm like, well, how much will that cost? It's like, eh, kind of does a rough estimate. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go. It's like, I'm well within my insurance still, let's go. And I don't have to plan another day off. It'd be a lot cheaper for me in the long run. Yeah. And I like one thing about him is he, he did that. He told me what fillings you need. Is that like the other dentist was like, 
here's 10 magical fillings you must get done. He's yeah. like, these you really should get done because... Yeah, he just goes, just this one filling has to be done. You want to yeah. do all these others right away too? It's like, yes, yes, definitely yes. And, and he, he, it fits in the insurance because he charges less too. Definitely charges less. It's a better, faster experience, charges less. Like, it's a win-win. Sure, he's a little bit on the rough side, goes in and gets it done and out. So you know, he's in and out super efficient. But I honestly appreciate that. I prefer that. Yeah. And the hygienist and the receptionist, they're all great people. Super nice people. Yeah. 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 I'm happy with the new dentist. To the point that I'm actually okay with going back for my other two. So I didn't ask him for my for, for eye doctor. I did not ask for the prescription. I've made an appointment to come and see them on Monday again. Oh. I go, I can't guarantee I'm available to see on Monday. She had this special lead. She goes, my husband used to be a truck driver and my nephew drives a truck driver. He goes, she goes, this lens here works amazing for evening and morning driving. Okay. Reducing glare. Okay. And I'm like, how much do they cost? They're like $500 lenses. But she goes, these lenses are literally made for you. Like, how much does our insurance cover for glasses? I think you only get $300 for, $300 for two years. I think we'll be worth it though. I don't know. Pay the $200 for the, then you have to buy lenses yet for the frames too. But. Yeah, that's where they get you. to look into it a little bit more this week. Google yeah. a little bit more. Let's go weigh ourselves. Might be a pain in the butt to get back out. Is he open? No, it's probably just a popo. RCMP sitting there. Maybe making sure people uh, are jipping. Come on, people breaking the corner rules and speeding like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just RCMP. Whoever they wave. I couldn't quite tell. It's clear for me. Okay, I want to write these numbers down. And you've cleaned up all my notepads and stuff. Well, there's something down there I put there. Okay, perfect. Oh. Well, you got part of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want a new sheet of paper? You can write it on that same one. Okay, and then a pen is over here. Pen right there. Five five forty. I am forty kilograms overweight on my steers. The way light be way light on the on the drives. Fifteen four four thirty. Like a thousand five hundred something under max weight. These are the ones I don't know. Okay, I'm quite a bit under. I'm like a thousand pounds under. Two two eight twenty. Thousand and almost two hundred under kilograms. If I said pounds, I meant kilograms. K 
Okay, 17. Be under 17. Be under 17. Be under 17. Yes! 16, 4, 4, 30. Okay, I'm going to write down the PSIs on the truck and trailer as well. That way I can do the math. This will be a nice one to do the math off of. Sixty-two, maybe just a hair over sixty-two, sixty-two point two two five. I'd say that is dead on seventy. And we are, see there's a scratch here at 70. I'm like, my math says we can go heavier. So we're at 70, let's say 74 and a half. So probably the max will be 71. On the back, probably 75 is probably gonna be max. Here's probably gonna be 71, 72. And here will be 60. 65, 66. I'll let you clean that up. I don't know how to do this. I think I know. Just, just clip it all in and yeah. put it away. and We'll do the math later yeah. on. It's one of those clips that takes you a while to figure out how to clip it. Yes. That will give us a much more accurate number for our weights for our future loads. I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable loading in the future. Okay, this is gonna be Trixie. Very tricksy. No way. No way. Oh, there comes someone. I mean, you're going to cut someone off. Hopefully the RCMP doesn't mind me cutting someone off. He's not even paying attention. Because I, 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 I waited to go until I could see no other traffic, right? Yep. Now basically I take those numbers, um, let's say the pup for example, here Jess I'll get you to do the math on the calculator. No, no, you just have to do the calculator part. So, I know, we were at 16,430 kilogram at 47.5 PSI. Now, how, what PSI can I go to before I go max weight? So, you take 74.5 divided by 16,430 times 17,000. 
should give you a number of 75, 77. 77. So 77 PSI, according to that number, is a safe number to load to. And you just do that for each number like that. So you take uh, take 70, divide for, for, the, for the bridge, take 70 PSI divided by 22,820, times 24,000. That would be 72. 73.6. So that would be the max load for that. Which is kind of what you have written down for the other one. Yeah, for our first one. So it's it's actually very close to the numbers I did on the first one. So good. Yeah. Kind of reaffirming my original math that that wasn't too bad. So this is only the second load I've done the math of. So yeah. The first load's always sketchy. I love that the first load was at Klesnikov and they have a scale that I can go use at the log yard. Yeah. So I knew I wasn't leaving overweight. Pizza from lunch is haunting me. That's why we have it for lunch though. It's a lot uh, better than it haunts me overnight. For, for supper than trying to sleep with heartburn? Yeah. Got to do a thing. That's okay. We'll do it. We'll do it after the video. You, you guys have already watched it. The ad read at the beginning of the video. You're back on the road. Ooh, she's heavy. That's why I miss being on the road. So how much do we weigh all together? Gross. I'll get Jess to do the math. Once she's done drinking water as I do these shifts. I mean as a computer does the shifts. I'm like, I need something to drink.
washers on, huh? Sun's gonna go down. You kind of your hands forced to where you're gonna get a video shot. It's different, but that was the end. So it's all different. Although no, last week I went the other direction. Last week was uh, leaving the picket to Oliver. Yep. Yep. It's a little bit different. Still leaving the picket, but different. got video of a bear over here dragging a deer across the across the little flat area on the right hand side. I don't know if I still have that video but Yeah, on Friday's video. 
uh, that I actually passed a few trucks. And I'm like, I thought with 500 horses, with a fully loaded Super B, I would be slower than that, but... Division. So Sutco is hiring drivers in other divisions. My division that I worked in no longer exists. They've sold my division off. Now they offered me to go and work in one of the other divisions, like residual or um, logging. I have almost no interest in that. It might be fun for a couple of weeks and then I'd be up done, so I don't want to go do that for a couple of weeks and get bored of it right away. I would much rather keep doing what I've been doing, running flat decks. And the routes might be a little different, but I'm excited to do different routes. I'm actually yeah. quite excited. Yeah. I'm like, yes, it's a Super B and I'm going to be slower and heavier and stuff like There's some downsides, but I'll be running new roads. Tired of the same route, so. Yeah. And then we really are travelers at heart. Like, we like to be out traveling. drivers, right? Uh, as a truck driver, I tend to wave at everybody that's a professional driver, including box fans. Sometimes even RVs. Especially the bigger RVs. Uh, you can see it's like a tour bus for a band or a hockey team or something like that. Yeah. They're just a professional driver. I don't wave at taxis. They're professional drivers. 
do, but I don't wave at them. Up. Does that mean I look down on them? Not really. They're just four wheelers, right? They're, yeah. They're a small vehicle. Although cops are just small four wheelers too. I don't know. Don't know why there's a line there. Could be because there's so many more taxis in cities. Anyway, that was Yellow Lake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully we hit that Coquihalla tomorrow. We'll see how it goes, getting loaded and all of that. For now, we are out of here. You guys rock. Adios.